Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. First chore of this this episode, I was going to say this morning, or at 2 in the morning, but I'm going to watch Cathra go over to recruit. Big bad pause. What was that? <laughs> I don't like these pauses. To recruit someone, because she's got a guaranteed, let's say here, inspired recruitment. So she's going to guarantee... Uh, to recruit the next person she walks up to. So I've chosen Wes, who is a 99% difficulty. So that's a great one to use that on. And I've got a subscriber in mind for Wes. And then we're going to name Pickles as well. So we're going to add to our colony this episode. But let's go ahead and work on Wes first, because Pickles... Oh, Pickles was sound asleep. Then let's work on Pickles first. Pickles got up. We'll put everything on pause for a moment. Pickles is going to go eat a eat a meal. Let's get him through the door. Right there. All right, we're going to stop there. Pickles, I've decided to make another executive decision for the series. Radar has been waiting for a character with an ascetic uh, trait. Prefers to live in asceticism. He will be put in a poor mood if he has a bedroom that is too impressive. He also dislikes fancy food and prefers to eat raw. Raw food won't bother him a bit. Interesting. But we were trying to capture McCoy that last battle right over in this area. He wandered down here so we sent Bill and Eric in there to bop him upside the head and knock him out so we can drag him in here and, and uh and, uh, you know, interrogate him and, and convince him he wants to join us. And I think Bill hit him a little too hard. So <laughs> we lost McCoy. Uh, actually, McCoy was a girl anyway, but that would have been fine. So I decided to add a trait to Pickles. So we're going we're gonna to say that Pickles is the first one. Pickles is the, the guinea pig for the, the prisoner experimentation ward, in which case we kind of, you know, I don't know, torture a, a trait or a skill into someone is is needed to, to to make it work i don't know but pickles congratulations you just got a new trait and we're going to name pickles as radar that's not radar try that again a d a r gotcha and who is radar radar age 37 male was a social pariah as a child. What does that mean? Radar's family never fit in. They were oddballs who couldn't conform to their regimented society. Because of this, they were forced into cyber sleep and sent to different rimworlds, never to see each other again. Aw, that's why the asceticism. Vagabond. Radar awoke on a dangerous planet with no resources and few survival skills. He bounced between camps, doing whatever work needed to be done just to see the sun rise once more. So this kind of fits ascetic, I think so. Social Pariah gave plus two to animals and plus two to crafting. And Vagabond gave plus three to shooting, plus four to animals, minus two to cooking, plus four to, const to construction, and plus four to crafting and disabled... What's that? Art research and crafting on the drug lab. Okay. And then traits. Chemical fascination. Radar has an intense fascination with chemical sources of enjoyment. He will assume, consume much more of them and will sometimes go off, uh, go on hard drug binges. He will ignore directives to not use pleasurable drugs. Optimist. He is naturally optimistic about life. It's hard to get him down even when he lives in a really poor bedroom. Psychopath has no empathy. The suffering of others doesn't bother him at all. He doesn't mind if others are butchered, left unburied, imprisoned, or sold to slavery, unless it affects him. He also feels no mood boost from socializing. So I'm guessing that our... I think we've got three psychopaths now. Plus we've got um, Alicia, who was not psychopath, but... Bloodlust. Okay, so four of them that could handle bodies if we needed to. So it doesn't have to be just Alicia. Anybody, you know, Natalia could do it. it but she doesn't haul. I think hauling has to do with the uh, running the uh, the furnace up there. But there was another one. Mississippi? Were you a. No? Michael? No, there was someone else here that was psychopath. Hmm. There's one. No, that's Natalia. 
there's somebody else here that is too. But back to radar. And then aesthetic, we read that already, wants a simple lifestyle, basically. So right now, radar is living in this unfinished bedroom. Any chance there's any hint of dead man's armor vest? <laughs> aesthetic has repulsive room, plus four. Woohoo! Okay. Well, we'll have to make sure not to fix up uh, Radar's room too much. Um, in fact, instead of smoothing it, that actually be pretty simple. We'll just put in, uh, well, there's, there's, there's the downside of it. Um, we make a room that's not very good, doesn't get all of the, the bonuses. We're only going to get the plus four bonus. Not going to get, um, um, well, luxuri luxuriantly comfortable comes from the bed. Okay. But we're not going to get the, you know, the beauty maxed out like we're going to get in some of these other ones. We'll have to play with that. I'm thinking wood flooring in here. Or radar, you let me know what you think. And then build the furniture and then swap it out if it's too good. Is that what you think? I mean, we've got lots of choices sitting in here of stuff that was not acceptable. Here's a nightstand that's good instead of, you know, excellent or superior. So let me know what you think about, about the bedroom and how to make that work. But radar, welcome. Now, Cathra is going to go and convince Wes to... Oh, it's not instantaneous. I thought it would be. We still gotta wait. Mm-hmm. So we'll we'll wait. I did ask Natalia. I'm gonna pause a second because she's gonna do that right in the middle of my sentence. Natalia to move this bed. I but in between episodes I moved all the hospital beds to the rooms. And trying to figure out what to do with this. I'm mean, just basically an operating theater with one bed on sterile tiles. But you know sterile tiles would be nice for all of them now if we're going to actually do all the work in the rooms as well as in here so it's not quite working out the way that i had envisioned it so maybe we'll split this into two um rooms hmm so if we did that and that cancel there and there that didn't work what did i just cancel <laughs> um, try that again. Cancel this way, right there, and put that back in at that point. I think that works. And then put another door right there. Make two operating rooms, we'll call them. But I think we do need to get uh, sterile tiles now into these five rooms to decrease the chance of infection if they're going to actually be doing all the recuperating in here. I don't know. It It's kind of changed from my original plan, but the original plan wasn't working because they were all getting uh, woken up in their sleep because they're all sleeping in a, in a room like a barracks. And that just wasn't wasn't functioning the way that I had hoped. But get a, you know, a dresser and, and a place for medicine and a nightstand and a vitals monitor in every one of these rooms. And then I guess you know vitals monitor in each one of these as well. I've moved the two of them that we had already done into these rooms. Then we need to get dressers into all of them. Yeah, it it, it changed a little bit, but I guess it'll still be fine. Anyway, let's work on uh, Wes a little bit longer now that I've got that talked through. There's another thing to talk through is right up over here. I want your thoughts on... Oh, she's going to take her time. Thoughts on this. This is the new rec room. It's a good-sized room. I can imagine four lights in here. So come in probably to the three by three, boom, 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 boom. So nicely lit up room, pool tables, card tables, uh, chess tables. Uh, Got to have a, a horseshoe pin in there somewhere. I think it's one of the requirements to be considered a, a true valid rec room in, in RimWorld. And some seating and whatnot. But the flooring, I'm, I got to looking at the other flooring that's available to us. We've been doing these, and looks like that. But we could do carpet in here. But we only have enough cotton right now to handle these five rooms that have already been laid out. One, two, three, four, five. And not even enough to do all of that, so we're not going to have anything left for medicine. Medi medicine production. So we can't do carpet in here until the next batch of cotton comes out. And that may be a little while. So, a flagstone might look a little bit better than what some of these other ones have been looking like. And if any of you that have got stone rooms right now that want to change over to flagstone, let me know that too. I, I forgot it was an option. But I'm going to try marble flagstone in there, but they're not going to get to it today. 
so if anybody has any other ideas or if you're you know as as a group everyone's thinking no let's let's have bright red carpet in there let's we'll wait until it's ready till there's enough cotton then you know we'll, we'll do that but let me know what your thoughts on that okay Catherine, you get one more chance what's it gonna be what else have i done overnight got a little more of the of the prison built up over here we need to get them moved over they're gonna start planning something here real soon new recruit and Hunter lacks whack, uh, weapon. Okay, so we got a hold of Wes. Jump to Wes needs no character. Wes is going to be someone that uh, is associated with Sea Stars actually in in real life. So Wes is going to be Vliss. And I told Vliss when he first uh, asked to be a part of this, and then and then. Uh, as for sea stars, the sea stars is going to get in a long time ahead of them because, yeah, you know, there's so many guys in a long line and, and so few ladies. So that's just the way it worked out. But Vliss, you are now part of the game. Who is Vliss? Vliss is male, 25 years old. Backstory, a blacksmith's son. Vliss's father owned the blacksmith shop in a run-down old city district. Vliss would help his father whenever he could. Later, his father took him as a blacksmith's apprentice and raised him as a man. That's kind of an awkward sentence there. Vliss also... Vliss also too on shooting as a hobby. Took on shooting as a hobby. Ah, I need a little, do a little uh, editing here. Proofing. So, we've got a plus three to shooting, plus three to construction, but negative three to artistic, and plus three to crafting. Then we've got adulthood, blacksmith shooter. Blacksmith shooter. Okay, interesting combination. As a young blacksmith, Bliss's family shop was raided by the police. <laughs> he shot two officers before they knocked him out and arrested him. Sentenced to life in prison, Bliss learned about traveling and raiding from other criminals. Somehow he got out of there after he was uh, sentenced to life. Uh, shooting plus five, construction plus three, and crafting plus three. Cannot... Boy, there's a lot of them that cannot craft on the drug research lab. Hmm, they can't research. Okay. So, Vliss is going to be great at construction and crafting. So, that's, that's important right now. And then, shooting. So, in fact, we've got something for Vliss to do right now this episode because we've got some muffalos that are running off the map right now as soon as they wake up and I want them as our um, freezer is starting to actually get empty and capable of intellectual traits psychically sensitive so Vliss is going to own his own personalized um, um, what do you call that the the tinfoil hat yeah um, plus 40 percent a psychic sensitivity when we have psychic drones that come over jogger so moves fast always moves with a sense of urgency so much so that others often fail to keep up plus 0.4 and psychopath has no empathy so we have another psychopath we have lots of people that can carry bodies after our raids oh that's great and i think we're good there so that's the first time we've added two in the same episode so just just worked out that way this time. Had a lot to choose from. Though there's quite a few the ones that are left that are 90% or harder. Xu is a 99 also. So um, beyond this, I know I've got Cyprian to get in. I'm gonna hold off on Oath Knight and Animal till the next uh, the next group comes in, and I want to read off a list of everybody else on the list. And let me know if you guys are still watching. If so, then I'll squeeze you in soon. I just want to know who's still valid and who's gone on and, and uh, found other things to do than to continue watching these hour-long episodes. <laughs> so, haven't heard in quite a while from Baldrick, Norman, Pavel, Gnarly, Choctaw, Otis, Doc Logan, Old Man, Arcane, Cat, Hydelion, and J. Bram. So if you guys are still out there, leave me a note in the comments. And I'll get you guys squeezed in soon. Otherwise, if I don't, then Animal and Cyprian are going to be next. 
and Oath or Oath Knight. Actually, Oath Knight, I found out that I can squeeze all those letters into your name. I thought we were one letter too long, but I gave it a try the other day and it worked. So Oath Knight is waiting for a rather specific character. So if that character doesn't show up next raid with even half of the, the characteristics that you're looking for, then we may have to torture somebody in our, our uh, prisoner experimentation ward and just kind of make it fit for you. And if I guess to be fair, if anybody else who's already in the game was really hoping for a specific trait and didn't get it, you know, if we want to add, you know, a limit of just adding one trait per, if someone really, really wants a specific trait added to their character, let me know. We'll figure out some way to to uh, to make that happen and just kind of have fun for the rest of the series. Anyway, with all of that, those are all the names that I'm w waiting to hear. Otherwise, uh, Cyprian and Animal and Oath Knight are, are known. They're just waiting for the characters to show up. And I think all the homework is done. So, Vliss, we need to restrict you. Um, Vliss, you're at the bottom. Okay, you're going to be easy to find. You're at the end of the list. So you are right there. We'll throw a joy in there for now. And I see Radar needs a joy thrown in there. So we'll erase these two. That looks pretty persistent. I don't know how many of these are necessary anymore. Um, let's pull all these out and see who starts to get cranky on me. Uh, those may have been for specific times before bed, you know, better bedrooms were available and that sort of thing. Um, assign... Vliss, you are a no drugs. Am I missing anybody in there with the nose? Nope. And you are a ranged. So right there. And I need to get on you, Vliss. Very first thing is going to be a... Oh, what is left? Let's get an assault rifle on you. Is that our last... There's a poor 97%. Or a normal 50%, which would you consider is better? How much better is the normal than the poor that 50% off is still better than a maxed out poor? Is that a thing? We'll go for that one until I hear otherwise. And otherwise you can pick your own clothes for the rest of it, and you'll be doing that for quite a while. I think we can let things run now. Kathra, I assume, is going back to bed. Well, she's consuming a fine meal. I may have to send her back to bed bed intentionally just to get some sleep in her I can see that happening Kethra let's see I'm gonna do that this way restrict sleep Kethra let's make you sleep until six it'll be five when you're done and well there you go now you're well I can't get there resting okay so back to restrict anything right there okay that took care of that I tricked you. Got you to go back to bed. But these guys, the, the herd that was over here, and then it was over here. Now it's over here. Just kind of thinking about distances. I guess it wouldn't have been any easier there as here. About the same distance away from our front doors. So I guess it's, you know we didn't really lose too much. Unless I could have caught you somewhere in between. That would have been good. And I did see this little dude over here. Well, this big dude over here. You are a male grizzly, age 9, and you're going to want to go eat a boom rat soon. Ooh, it's going to be exciting. Now, plans for today. Prison. Got to get this prison going. So, Vliss, what are you up to? You are building roof. You've got all your gear already? What you got on? Gear. Power armor helmet. Interesting. Where'd you find that? You had it on, didn't you? You may have already had it. Okay, so armor vest and jacket and pants and yep, you're in good shape. You got your rifle and needs, you're in good shape. All right, so you go do your thing. So you're in construction. Let's let's take a look at that. Work. Bliss. Get these guys going. You can feed um, injured and you can feed prisoners. Otherwise, handle is a no. Um, Eric failed while constructing cloth armchair. Where are you at? Oh, you're over here waking up David. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate that. Um, well, you've already done the damage. I don't think you can do it again. Now you want to go... Because, oh, there you woke him up when you left. I see. Um, 
Well, as long as you guys work in here, like you want to work on that, can you bring over that granite block? Because that's just driving me nuts. Bliss is working in here, great. When you're done bringing that block over, this is Eric, right? Needs, you need to eat soon, but bring that and then bring over the last of the marble over here. That'll just kind of get everything dropped into place. Um, although it would be nice if you could... Oh, it is all there. 15 out of 15. And 15 out of 15. So this marble will fill in that one there. Okay, then we'll have five good rooms. And we've got one, two, three, four, five prisoners. Ooh, that works out. So as soon as I get all these things built... Because right now, I got to look before the episode started. We've got a beauty in here, 1.3. We haven't got that in any of these rooms yet because there's so many projects that are under construction and that sort of thing. So they're, they're dirty, they're, they've got you know materials laying around. And so we'd end up with some cranky people in these rooms just yet. So I'm thinking, well, I was going to say the first half of this episode we can get these done, but I want to go do that hunt. So at some point in this episode, we'll try to get these guys done. I moved over the hospital beds that were in these rooms to fill in these rather than building them again. That worked out pretty good. Um, I could almost bring over two hospital beds to here and call these done, but nah, we'll, we'll go ahead and do this. Um, we've got some of the materials, the medicine's already brought over. Yeah, Henny brought a stack of 30 and just fed them into this room. Okay, and I was wondering why these are disappearing. And it just dawned on me, this isn't prisoner rated yet. So these are still up for grabs until I actually mark these as prisoners. But I don't want to mark them for prisoners just in case Klaus gets the idea to walk over and pick up grill and haul them over here and dump them off for some unknown reason so i just decided to hold off on that one you are a medical to eventually become a prisoner i could set that one right now though nah i won't we'll just we'll do it all at once we'll have a big you know grand opening ceremony of the prisoner experimentation ward anyway um you guys are doing all that um huh Okay. I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, maybe that was with a zoo. I don't know. Social? There we go. Wooed by Haruto. And zoo rejected the advance. Okay. We're going to get cranky people even in our prison. Yep. This is going really fast. All these dogs are running. Hmm. Anyway, we're at 7 in the morning. I don't want too much more time to go by because I really want to get these before they go wandering off. Don't you leave. Wandering. Okay, let's go get them. So, Tomasov needs. Rest is almost there. We're going to have to call it good enough. Draft and hightail it up into this area right here. Handy, you, same thing. Over here, Rabbit, you need a meal first. So, let's get you a... I think just a regular meal. In fact, where are you right now? You're on this side. Okay, we'll go for these. Zoom in. Let's go for the bottom stack. So, consume us draft, consume a simple meal, and then meet us out over, zoom out over there. All right, Shantigo, you're already up and ready to go. So you come on out right now, and Klaus, you could use a meal too. Now you were on this side, so I think it'd be better to have you steal one of these meals that Huck is chewing on right now. Mm -hmm. Draft, and reserve by Huck, let's just take it away from them right there don't think it'll make any Ooh, maybe it saved a meal i don't know and then we'll send you up into this area who's next sangria same same drill and you're maxed out so you get the same thing so i lost you right over there draft and consume that one how many are in there nine are in there okay and then hop out into this area who else Kathra actually got a decent rest yeah, I need eight. Let's hold off. Natalia, you're ready to go to sleep. Okay, I'll leave you alone. And at the same time, I want to make sure nobody is prioritized and I've locked him into a job. Michael, you're up and about. You've got a good rifle. Yeah, let's bring you out on this one since you missed the last war completely. Um, my fault. <laughs> Draft, and let's get you a good meal. So you're over... Where's Michael? You're on this side. So can you come on out and grab one of these... That one right there looks great. We can clear out a stack. And then you can head up into here. And Miss B, you're ready to go to bed. 
so you're gonna grab a meal right now making kibble boom you're one of them that I and you want to you want to get that advanced steel helmet that uh, that uh, Natalia just finished mm-hmm doesn't matter you're starving you're gonna get that helmet um, Alicia needs food and is a pretty decent shot right seven Alicia I lost you there character and needs that's what I'm looking for you consuming you're already consuming a fine meal okay so you're no you're on your way to doing it okay well in that case let's do what three there's a one right there let's draft and make you come and get it's interesting I stayed come and get this one and then you can pop out here as well down the list Eric is melee David is melee grandma is probably not going to make it before she loses it. She's too close to her rest and she is going to be heading to bed here soon. She, she was night shift. Bill's melee. Sea Star's melee. Kaya has a gun and likes using it. Um, about the same amount of rest as Grandma. Okay, Kaya, you're in the middle, right? You're over here. Okay, that's still your closest dining room then. So come on over here and grab uh, draft right there. All these ones that are eating are going to kind of get there late, so it's possible they're only coming out to uh, to carry things home. I'm not sure. Faith doesn't fight. Manuela is melee. Radar has an assault rifle and ready to go. So draft and come on out. And Vliss has an assault rifle. Could use some food though, and Mood is already aiming for pretty low. So that's probably got some... No, not a lot of prisoner stuff stacked in there. Okay, well, um, come grab a real meal. You're over here right now, so come come and grab this real meal. Draft right there. Consume reserved by Bill. There's only one meal there. Ah, Bill, you're not going out though. So and Vliss, where are you at? You are over here. Yeah. So Bill, you're not heading out. I'm gonna give this to Vliss and melee and I mean not melee. Drafted. Consume and then. Head out to here, like that, and then Bill, so that you don't just, you know, grab the other one right next to it that's not as good. I'm going to send you all the way over here to grab one of these, right there. Okay, now I had asked David to haul meals. He must have hauled them to here. I need meals brought over. No, I had him haul these meals. I think that was them. Anyway, we need more meals dropped off over here. So we're going to have to get that going. But that's everybody. I can turn this back on. I don't think there's anything I need to be worried about. I didn't miss anybody that was going to be going. I didn't say I'll get back to so-and-so later and then not. So we should be okay there. Good. Dogs have done a lot of hauling. Boomalope is pregnant. Okay. Well, while we're waiting for... Don't you do it. Waiting for... Um, them to get over there. Any animals that need to be reset? No, everything's fine there. What are you? Ah, oh, we need need to train that one. And you're in the kibble zone. No more training over here. You guys have been trained. You have. You have. Okay, got all those correct. And everything there's fine. Okay, what else is going on? Who's left? Let's pause and do that. What can we assign Eric and Bill, or Eric and David to be doing, for instance? Eric, you are already hauling marble out of this area then you need to grab a meal and there's only the cheap meals over here so let's tell you specifically to come get this one because they tend to be lazy and just go grab the closest one reserve by consume that one when you're done david went to sleep who else can build out of this group that who who else is not going so manuela is a growing and you're off to do that great and we got a lot of this done. Look at how Texas is filling out. And what's our growth over here? We're at 32%. We are getting a little bit low again. I may have to shift some more, some more food into one of these. And that's possible. In fact, it's probable. Yeah. Hmm. Well, hmm. I better get ahead on that one, too. Yeah, I kind of better okay storage let's go for what do we have the most of right now we don't know we do know we go this way 
potatoes. Okay, let's shift some, some, some potatoes into there. So raw foods, vegetarian, and potatoes. Potatoes into there. We've got a good chunk of, of hay grass left over here, so we'll, we won't do both of them. We've got more coming. It's just we've got to get two, three more days in before some of these are ready. So there's a whole bunch ready to you know, that is growing, but only a little bit that's actually ready to harvest. So, yeah, got to keep up on that. But who is not going up there? That's not sleeping. Miss P was wearing a helmet, needs, and going to bed. Okay. Alicia's going up there. Eric is not. David is sleeping. Grandma is not. But she's going to bed soon. She's cooking a fine meal. Bill is melee, and he is taking a pack of survival meal, of course. Because it's not in a prisoner area yet. <laughs> um, Bill was grass, uh, planting, right? Growing? I guess what he was, what he's been up to lately. So he'll find plenty of work to do on his own. Sea stars. You can to find meal needs, and you've got some time left. Let's get you when you're done consuming a fine meal to come back over here. I decided to make this area the new hay loft. That's what we'll call it, and store all the extra hay grass right in here under a roofed area nearby where most of it is most of it is here and here so it won't be that much of a distance but pretty equal actually from the extent of these to get in a whole winter's worth of hay loaded into this in, in 200 uh hay 200 quantity rolls in here so that's going to work out great as long as nothing collapses i don't think it can we're one two three four five six seven eight yeah we're fine in here nothing can collapse um, are we kind of done? Bill, Faith, Faith, what's you up to? You'll be planting as well, and there's lots to do. I think I've gone through everyone that's not going to bed right now. Okay, let this thing run then. Otherwise, our crop turtle is still doing just fine. We should be able to see quite a difference soon. Oh, we missed a spot. We're going to have to keep maintaining. Oh, I know. I set this right there for no more so. We're going to lose some of it to animals, I know that. But this stuff takes so long to uh, uh, to cook, we'll say, to grow, that there's no point all through the year adding another one here or there. We're just going to have to throw them all away when we reset it for hay grass anyway. So this is a one batch. When it's all done, we'll, we'll replant it in something else. And then we'll pick a spot right here just to maintain all this, the, the uh, stuff called yellow. Cut plants, double strand. I was expecting it to pop up right there. Nope, don't do that. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Double strand. I never did get it planted over here, though. I'm going to have to sign someone specifically to do it. Otherwise, they won't get it done in time, and it won't grow in time. So maybe after this episode, I'll... Uh, wow, about everyone got here, because I've been sitting here talking. Um, I'll get someone out there after this episode to deal with that. But let's go to where. These guys could go berserk on us. It's possible. Uh, we're going to shoot through trees there. Let's go over here. I'm going to shoot through trees no matter what. That looks pretty good there, except the back corner I want to move, which is... Alicia, come on up over to... here. Okay. You guys, am I waiting for anybody else? Michael's heading in. Okay. So, Michael, you head over to here. But we'll take this group and start shooting now. Oh, that just didn't work. Okay, reset. Bliss, come on back. Go here. Go here. Right there. Why are you not? Because Michael's going there. You go over here. And Shantigo, you pop in back over here. All right. I want anybody shooting anybody in the back. Okay. Now, let's try this again. There we go. That's right, Bulk Goods Trader was here. I was supposed to do that this morning first. So many things that that just kind of get missed when there's too much going on. Oh, we needed that one too. We really needed that one. Okay, and we have a stash opportunity that we never go for anyway. But maybe we'll read that one still. Well, mm, that didn't work. Okay, everybody, shoot into there. Let's get them all mad. 
Okay. Can we reach here? We can. Okay, well, that's working. Um, let's get in a little bit tighter. A little bit closer into there. Oh, that's a mess. Yeah, we're all going in all different directions. Let's go to the middle, then. Right there. And you're going to pop in over there and take him out. Okay, and this one? No. Who's our, our runner? Two of them are. Okay, let's get into about here. And who was that one? That is Tomislav. Tomislav, you head to here. All right, this group. Take this one out. He's the one most likely to run away. And this one. Boom. Okay. So, Michael's the only one here who won't haul. So, Michael, you get to hunt. In fact, let's do this way. We've got one, two, three, four. Four of them. Hunt. Okay. So, Michael, you are going to hunt this one. Handy, you can hunt that one. And Chanteagle, you can hunt this one. And Bliss, let's get you to hunt this one. All right, with that, Tomislav grabbed a meal. Okay. <laughs> Kaya, you're going to carry. Ah, pull out. Double. There we go. And unforbid these. I think that is everything accounted for now. So, who do we got here? Kaya, you can haul. Radar, you can... Trying to get in there. Haul, okay. And Klaus, you can haul. And who else is in here? Alicia, you can... Consume. Haul, reserve for a rabbit. Because... That one. That's what I want, okay. So is that everybody accounted for now? Nobody shoot anybody. I think we're good. Yes. All right. Now, do we want to go after a bear? I don't think so. I think we're going to say thank you for this and just move on so we can get back to working on the base. But right down in here, you can see that we're uh, we've gone through an awful lot of these of these animals. A lot of butchering's been done. A lot of it's still sitting over here, thankfully. And eventually, it'll be sitting over in here and start filling up all of this area, too. Uh, minor break risk of Grandma, who is... I didn't realize she was being... Oh, she was cooking over here making... Uh, um, what do you call them? The yellow ones. The survival meals. And I really wanted the uh, uh, the fine meals, so I sent her over there to do that one. I forgot that that locked her in for good. Okay, so we've got these guys hauling in another big long round of meat for us and then we can get back to some kind of normal which for some of them is to go right back to bed because they weren't quite uh, ready yet to be getting up otherwise who wasn't part of that or who what do we want done let's work that route david's doing some more uh, recruiting over there and our builders handy needs you need to get a meal and you need to get just a simple meal. You'll be fine with just that. And when you're done doing that, then I want you specifically to get in and work on... Is that a bed? What's a bed? Oh, that's the bed right there. So, dressers. Yeah. Let's have you specifically come over and work on the dressers in this area. And, Klaus, you're my next best constructor, I believe. And you're attempting to recruit. Then we get into Eric and David as our next best constructors, I think. Don't have these guys memorized yet. Radar construction, you are an 8. And Vliss construction, you are a 9. Whereas Eric is a 17. Yeah, 17 now. David is a 16. Klaus is a 17. Okay. So Eric is caught up. Eric. Right there. Caught up to, to Klaus. Um... You are now building that one. Okay, that's fine. Does this one have all those materials? Does not. So any other wood in this area, these two right here. So, Eric, you are over here and you're building these guys. You and Bliss are, are getting some work done on this. Kind of like that. David, you are playing horseshoes and then you're going to deconstruct that when you're done. Get rid of that. 
but Eric, I really could use your help over here. You don't have a great track record with building block walls anyway. <laughs> so if I can get you to build, to bring the wood over to build this one, then you'll bring over the wood to finish off these as well, and they'll all get constructed. Now I need, and I'm going to do a lot of pausing this episode, unlike what I did last time, and felt like I didn't get anything done. I need someone to come over here and clean. I usually grab Thomas Law because he's just kind of a someone that floats around between all the different things. Um, I would love to, to get some more research done, but it's just not that critical. We're doing fine without it. You know, it'll be interesting to explore the rest of the research, but it's not... Uh, it's not you know, super important. I'm going to set you for Tomislav. You're not at the bottom anymore. Um, set you for cleaning, which is right there. And I'm going to get you to work over here. Yep, you're selected. Is there, I thought, is there no dirt in there? This whole very, there we go, clean dirt. I want you to clean these cells up really good. Now, it'd be nice to get some lighting going in here too. David, you were going to do that. Then you're going to do that. Then you're going to... Do this. Bring over steel for that and any other steel in the area. I think that's a steel table. Yeah, you'll, you'll fill in some other steel. And that'll get lighting going to here. And then we need to get this one going. Bing. Bliss. All right. What's with bliss? We've got a mental break risk needs. You're right there. Why? Because you don't have a lot of green stacked up yet. That's probably why. Um... If I were to break you from there, why would you not just automatically go Joy? Building marble wall. I thought once it got down below a certain point, they would stop whatever they're doing and just go Joy anyway. But we're not very beautiful in this area. Um, let's look at your character. You like to construct. You like to craft. So constructing should be increasing your Joy, and it is. But we need to increase your Joy in a nicer area. Okay, rest is almost gone anyway. Where does Vliss live? Vliss is range, so he's not in this area. Thank goodness, we don't have any more rooms mar uh, uh, mined away yet. Need to get, um, who was it? Um, I'm drawing a blank here. I thought it'd be at this end, but it's not. It wasn't Bill. Who's the one that was... Um, let me just run through here. Vliss, Radar is the opposite. Who's the one that was jealous? It was Manuela. Okay, so this is Manuela's room. The best room of the whole stinking place, but it hasn't been built yet. So that's going to be Manuela's room. Manuela took over one of these. There's Radar down here. Where did Manuela go? Manuela right there okay actually this would be a great room right now for uh, uh, well well for radar but radar is actually doing fine with that we still got the repulsive room of four would radar do better even like right here this, this is far worse than the other one would we get like a plus eight or a plus ten let's find out you're now radar for one night we'll see how that works radar Scroll down, you're down in this area. Okay, so let's make Vliss where? This has got the most done. Well, we got, they're about the same. What's what's our look over here? Now, Vliss needed really anything. It was only Radar and uh, Manuela. They had the, the two extremes. Okay, so Vliss could be anywhere. So what is our nicest of these two rooms? Point 0.1 beauty, point 0.3 beauty, unowned. Negative point two. So right here for what we've got done so far. And there's still a lot more to go. This one we'll quickly make, uh, get rid of that. Make this one bliss. Right there. Okay. Now, bliss, back to you. Your mood was not in the greatest shape. Let's go get, well, we already have a fine meal in there. Plus five. Okay. I need you to get to some joy going but I can't force you to do it. Other than, it's 1,500, let's just do that. Just for this one time. So 1,500, I want Restrict, I want Joy, Bliss, and the 1,500, 1,600 hours, right there. Otherwise, you're going to sleep at night, and this is going to force you, when I break from here, Bliss, right there, 
to go to your room and pray, and then you go right to sleep. Okay, that took care of you, I'm assuming. Otherwise, what was I doing? Eric's bringing all the wood over here. Klaus is filling in a lot of these. Handy's filling in the rest of the wood over there. Great. And you're going to even start hitting the next rooms. Good. And the construction is happening. Tomislav is jumping here, cleaning up. We're going to get these five rooms going. And with that, we could call this done, except we're going to have to feed these three manually. We're not really there yet. I did set the prepackaged survival meal count up to 60, I believe. For uh, Yeah, if we get a move, I can get rid of this. And we'll take these ten over there, too. Okay. But with that, Andy, you are resting. Let's get a little more work out of you. What's got all the materials? Right there. Handy, you can work on this one. Reserved by Eric. Okay. Um, you can work on this one then. Handy, right there. This one. 50 out of 50. Handy, when you're done. Reserved by Eric. Oh, Eric is dropping off the, the materials. I see. i got to wait for Eric to finish. Tomasov's cleaning. Um, actually, if you could clean right there there get the five rooms done Eric what you doing oh, okay now you're free now you are working on that one Andy you're gonna work on this one and this one has all of his materials too so Eric when you're done with Klaus when you're done with that you're gonna work on that one and then we just need the wood brought over to these we'll get these built so we gotta work on this one yet David you're bringing over these the, the uh, steel for that one great so, Tomasov, you done in this area? Negative seven is the items that are in the middle of being constructed. There's a dirt right there and right there. Still got some in this area. So right there. Tomasov, work on that one, please. Okay, Klaus, you are sneaking away to recruit Paulo. Um, let's get you to stay in here for a little bit longer. Let's see here. 28 of 28. 15 of 15. 30 of 30. 15 to 15. Let's get you to bring the wood over to these two. Everybody else here. Minor break of Bliss, who's going to bed soon, so that should be fine. He's just in and out of that, that range. Okay, Klaus is going away to get that. Sangria successfully tamed an alpaca. I did find one alpaca over here, a female. We've only had males all this time. So now we've got a female, so we can have way too many mouths to feed again. <laughs> Alpacas, you're in this area. You train, you go to the the main pasture, and we're good here. There's nothing else she's been up to. Okay, pull out of there and back over to Handy, this area. Eric is escaping. He's playing chess. Needs? He really needs it too. I'm going to have to leave him. Let him go. Okay, Tomislav, Handy, you are working on those. Good. You want to go to bed, I know that. How bad off are you anyway? Needs. You're fine for a long time. We're gonna we're gonna make use of your skills. David, you're going to work on that one. Put, shed some light on the subject here. Boom. Dink 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 dink. Ah, let's reconnect you. There it goes. David, don't escape yet. You don't need it. Good. Ha 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 ha. You're gonna do this one. And you're gonna do that one. And you're gonna do that one. And Handy, you are going to do that one. And... Is that it? This one almost got all the resources. That one did. And then you're going to do this one. Then we'll let you escape. David can do the rest over there. And I'd say the prison is pretty much ready for its first customers. I think so. Tomasov. Where did you end up going when not cleaning up that last spot? Tomislav is cleaning rock rubble over here. Ah, come on over here and work on this one. And I think, well, that may have shown up from the construction. Maybe we just tracked that in. We need to get this in, though. Okay, so... Sea Star is in the area. Sea Stars wants to mine there. Sea Stars, you could bring some supplies over for me. You don't have to work on it, but you can bring the supplies. That would be much appreciated. Okay, David is resting. No, 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 no. One more thing here. By Handy, Handy kind of went away. So why don't you work on that one? And what is this over here? 
Marble tile, four of four. So get you to do that one as well. And this room will be done. Klaus is bringing the wood over to here, and he can finish working on these. And Handy did go where? Oh, I guess they didn't have enough material there. I thought we did. 60 of 60. What is she doing? Cued. She went to bed. Okay, you're free. Back over here to you guys. Tomislav is cleaning dirt in the area. That's fine. David, Klaus. Uh? How did the bedroom get built in front of the door? <laughs> and the light's in the wrong place. Ah. The room got mirror imaged or something. Something. The doors got put differently. Ah. Okay. So, Klaus. Yeah. You're going to go relax socially over there. Okay. This one is going to... Mm, uninstall. This one is going to... I bet you I can't reinstall it until that leaves. Okay. Klaus, I need you to do this one for me so that I can play this little game of sliding the squares around the box until it all goes where it belongs. You are going to reinstall right there. You are going to install right there. Uh, Klaus, do that one. Install there. Klaus, do that one. That work? Yeah, it's a blueprint. I thought, okay, now are we good? This didn't get done. Klaus wants to consume a fine meal. You can... Oh, there's no wood in this area. Or is there? There's wood right there. Klaus, you're going to do one more project. Then you can go get your meal. You get to work on that one. Okay. What have we got here? Faith is planting. Ah, oh, good timing. So, David, before I preview everything here. David, you... Uh, resting. Resting? Resting. Resting. Your night shift. You should be waking up right now. Let's... I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm a little uh, befuddled. Um, David. Work. No. Restrict. David. Right there. 6 p.m. is the last hour available to trigger you to rest, even though it's not needed. Okay, I'm just going to break you of that, and you can rest when you actually need it later. Can you get the hospital beds going? Right there, which means you need steel. Okay, that's fine. Faith is going to do these. Klaus is going to build that one. And I want to know what if there's any art around here. So Manuela and Faith are going to take care of these. Great. Um... It seems, like, it seems like there's a lot of stuff going on. Natalia's making all the noise. Okay, so we have a good dresser. We have a superior. We have an excellent with art. We read that already. That was kind of creepy. And superior and good. Beds, good. Superior, excellent. Superior, superior. Um, nightstands, normal. Superior, good. So excellent and good. I think we're just going to say... Good enough for all these. Tables are excellent. Good. I don't think it can be art on a table, right? Or maybe it's just a random chance of it otherwise. So, Klaus, you're going to work on these. Sea Stars is laying the stuff out. I don't need you to build it. I'll get Klaus to do that. Good. Now, you are breaking, and you go ahead and do whatever you like to do. Though, needs... Let's get you... Are you done over here? <clears throat> no. Let's get you a meal good meal right there and then you've got several hours worth of, of energy left so you're going to go to after that here and there and there and there that should be enough to get you i'll do one more just in case see if we can get this all cleared out just so that's one more project off the list and otherwise i need klaus to get at least this conduit going which should give us the power to light this area up okay what else does she bring that we could do Light fixture. Nah, these aren't that critical. Now, you want to consumify meal. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. Eric is getting the last of the stuff constructed. And I don't see why we can't turn on the beginnings of our new prison. We have enough cells now for the prisoner count, right? One, two, three, four, five. We do. We're going to mess up Cathra, who's doing her best to convince Gazoo to... Uh, to uh, join us, but let's go ahead and set 
this. That wasn't it. Right there. Prisoner. 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 Okay. So with that, I can turn off this room. And she and probably David will... Well, David's going to bed. Nope. We conned him into, into working in here for a while. But he's going to be busy. Um... I'm thinking Kaya. No, she's asleep. There's a couple others marked for uh, for Warden, but at least Kathra will just start moving them all in. And then when the next prison break happens, John, <clears throat> was there character? No. Thought at one point I saw some kind of a comment about how long since the last prison break. I think that I was in. I was in dev mode working on on Wes when I saw that. Okay, so or at least looking at at things with in dev mode, and I came across that. So never mind on that. But Kathra is going to suddenly be panicked because we no longer have a prison. Turning off prisoner mode affects the whole room since prisoners and colonists cannot sleep in the same room. These people will lose ownership of their beds. Are you sure you want to do this? All right, they're no longer in prison. So, Klaus, let's consume a fine meal. No, let's just get um, Horto. He looks like the most uh, daunting of, of who's left. Back into a room there. David, let's... Okay, when you're done dropping that off, I need you to move John. Can't do it. Grill. Really? I can't say move? Paulo? Reserved by... Zoo. That is so weird. And thanks, Isabella. We're going to have to move him out of there soon. Okay, well, Kathra, you are attempting to recruit Paulo. Let's break an escort. Thank you. That's what we needed to do. Don't get any ideas there, Grill. Okay, David, you are hauling steel. Can I get you to escort somebody? I got, I got uh, Klaus to do it. And you're Warden. You are Warden, right? Did I monkey with that to get you to build one time? David. I thought about doing that. No, you're still one on Warden. I was really wanting to get some work done between episodes and at night, and David just kept going down there to recruit, and I was about to take him off of Warden just so I can get something done. Okay, Klaus has got you, and that is so strange that I cannot get David to do just like I told Klaus to. There we go. Taking to bed. Um... Zoo. <laughs> um, other warden-like characters. Um, actually, any of them could be. Who's in the area? Natalia, can you... Um, grill. I'll never do wardening. Okay, who else is in the area? Um, easier when it's paused and they're all running around off the screen on me. Miss B, can you... You're, you're uh, capable of, of wardening. So, can you please take Grill to bed? Um... Don't take that personal. <laughs> and we're going to get our new prison cells working. Tomorrow, we're going to continue working on this area. Get lights up into here. Tomorrow for the... Uh, oh, I was going to say for our characters in the game, but I just looked over and saw we've been going for an hour. So I guess tomorrow for us, too, we'll uh, get more of this done. <clears throat> this isn't super critical for what's happening up here while Boar's pregnant, but it will be as soon as the next raid comes in. Anyway, who's left over here? That felt like a pause, but it didn't. There's one time when the game paused, and it was a definite, long, noticeable pause. And I made a comment about it, and I never saw a reason why. Then when I went to edit, I saw the autosave come up, but it wasn't there for me when, on the screen when I was playing the game. I thought that was really kind of strange. That, uh, who's left? John? I thought I had to send somebody for John. Guess not, but Kathra, you are going to rest. Let's have you please escort John to bed. Thank you. And with that, we need to turn this delete, delete, and Kathra is Klaus. You I hate to do this to you, but can you haul these five? Then you can get some food. You've got the, uh, and then you're going to go for here and consume a fine meal. Okay. But, um, that way, you've got the, where's Klaus at? Right there. 
you've got the uh, the mood to, to handle it. You can go zero on all this stuff, and you might get to here on your mood, because that plus 50 is humongous. So all you guys get new beds. Grill. Let's go to Horto Needs. No, nope, let's go to Polo. Luxuriantly comfortable. Oh, you're so happy. Same thing. Oh, we even have my rival Alley died. <laughs> There's reasons to be happy. <laughs> okay. Um, beauty in these rooms now. 1.2, 1.7, 1.8, 1.6, 1.4. 1.2 because why? Let's maybe alter one. There's a superior, a good, and a good. So a couple of goods and a good. So no other superiors or excellence in there. Okay. So I need to do something about that. Ten, seven, and none over here. So whoever's in cell number one is always going to get the most food. I can see that already. I can't go less than ten, so we're just stuck until we make that many more. Okay. So with that, I think we'll end it right there. Boy, we had a lot done this episode. That's, that's why I like to specifically steer the characters to do what I need, rather than just let them, them roam about and do whatever they would naturally do that the game would guide them to. If that were the case, we would have all this mined out by now, and nothing done over here, or, or something like that. And this way I can kind of craft an episode to be about a certain theme, and this theme had to do with prisoners, that's for sure. Prisoners converting to colonists and prisoners being continued as prisoners. Yeah. And with that, I better call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.